Well, first of all, uh, it's programmable, so I don't actually have to stand and watch the coffee all the time. Uh, I used to have a double barrel old school sample roaster where both the barrels were very different. So you, you would ha constantly have to you know, check both of them all the time, which was uh, very time consuming, of course. You can cool the coffee while it's roasting. I mean, that's quite obvious for a lot of old school uh, sample roasters, but there's also roasters where you can't do that. So it makes my workflow at, at least a lot better. And of course, if I had a lot more samples, I would just have a second one or a third machine. It's quite intuitive to work on this roaster. Uh, you can play with the airflow, you can play with the heat application. Of course, you can see the graphs and everything. For me, you know, making profiles is yeah. for sure the most useful feature because uh, the way I work and uh, I have a lot of the same coffees all the time, so it makes my life a lot easier. Uh, of course, having a trier is great. Uh, I have another roaster that is also programmable and everything for smaller quantities, and uh, I'm not able to take out samples and try, and I'm kind of an old school guy, so I like to, at least with samples, uh, because you never know 100% whether the coffee is completely finished or not. Even if you're following a profile you know works, and maybe the moisture content was slightly higher or something. So you kind of want to have that feedback by having a visual uh, look at the beans and say, okay, no, I'll leave it in another five or 10 seconds. Getting the coffees to cool fast is crucial Otherwise, it'll taste very kind of flat and bitter. Uh, so it's important. It's, it's, you know, one of those things that a lot of people don't think about is important, but it is quite important to, to get it to, to cool fast. 